Hi, and welcome to this second lesson on SUDS. Today we're going to be looking at the arithmetic of SUDS, in particular addition and subtraction. So let's look at an expression we may be familiar with. 2x plus 3x plus 5x. When we tidy up the like terms, we end up getting the answer 10x. Okay, and this is the expression that we get, and we can't go any further, not unless someone gives us a value for x. Now, in a similar way, if we want to tidy up the expression root 2 plus root 2 plus root 2, then we can use the algebraic manipulation, and we end up with saying that we've got 3 root 2s. Okay, now what I want to do here is I want you to try the following questions for yourself. So if you pause the tape there, and then we'll get back to the answers in a second. Okay, let's look at the answers for the first part. So we've got four lots of root 3 all adding together there, giving us the answer 4 root 3. In the next row, we have seven lots of root 5, giving us 7 root 5. In the third row, we have three lots of root 7, which gives us the answer 3 root 7. However, in the fourth row, we've got an added complication there of some numbers in front of the roots. So the first one, 2 root 3, add on another root 3, add on three root 3s, means all together collected, I would have 6 root 3s. In the last row, 4 root 5s plus 2 root 5s plus 1 root 5 plus 3 root 5s means all together gathered up I'd have 10 root 5s. Now hopefully you can see there that the way in which they're gathered together isn't that dissimilar from what you learned when you were dealing with algebra. So now that you can see that you are tidying up sods by using algebraic expression rules, and just to just clarify that, a plus B plus 3B plus 5A, you would tidy up using algebra rate manipulation to give you 4B plus 6A. Now in a similar fashion, if A was to turn into root 3 and B was to turn into root 2, you can see that root 3 plus root 2 plus 3 root 2 plus 5 root 3 is going to give us 4 root 2 plus 6 root 3. And you can see that the, the, the two things are, are almost identical. Now you've got to be very careful when you're tidying up your roots because you can only tidy up thirds which contain the same root. If they have different roots, then they've got to be treated separately. So once again, in a moment, I'm going to put up some questions. I'd like to stop the movie and try these for yourself. Okay, let's see how you get on. So the first one contains root 7s and root 11s, and when we take them all up, we should find that we've got 6 lots of root 7 and 2 lots of root 11. In the second one, a mixture of root 2s and root 3s, so we tie them up together, we have 9 root 2s and 5 root 3s. The next row has a mixture of root 5s, root 11s and root 17s, and the only part that ties up root 17, and it ends up giving us the expression root 5 plus 3 root 11 plus 11 root 17. Next one, a mixture of root 3s and root 5s, and they're all tidied up. It gives us the answer 8 root 5 plus 7 root 3. And then the last one, root 6s and root 15s, and once again, all tidied up gives us 6 root 6 plus 2 root 15s. Now remember, all the way through here, we've treated all the roots separately, and that's why we have lists of roots and more answers, and they're not all gathered together. Now, there shouldn't be any surprises that the subtraction of sorts is done in almost exactly the same way. If I've got 4 root 3, and I take away a root 3, then I'm left with 3 root 3. Now, a very common mistake it's made at this point is that some people think that if you have 4 root 3 and you take away root 3, then you should just have the 4 left. But what you've got to bear in mind is that 4 root 3 actually means that there's 4 root 3s all being added together. And if you only take away one of them, then it's obvious you've still got 3 root 3s left. So watch out and try not making that mistake. Okay, 8 root 7s, take away 2 root 7, take away another root 7, and that basically is 8 root 7, take away 3 root 7s, which gives me the answer, 5 root 7. And this last one here, I've got a mixture of root 3s and root 5s, so 8 root 3, take away a root 3, leaves 7 root 3, take away a 4 root 3, leaves me 3 root 3, root 5, take away 7 root 5, leaves me a negative 6 root 5, so we can see the answer there is going to be 3 root 3, take away 6 root 5. Now, after this lesson, I hope you can add and subtract sorts. Your teacher will probably direct you to some more work when you get back into class just to practice this uh, new, new skill that you've learned. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed listening.